All right, sorry about that. Welcome back, Zerk fans. Slight change of plan, so it was going to be an FP VOD. So admittedly, for YouTube viewers, it's going to seem weird because there's no change of plans because there was no original plan. But yeah, FP VOD. So I'm going to be playing against Google Frog. Wish me luck. Actually, I need to change a couple links. So first, I need to actually change my setup. So I'm actually playing with my normal play setup, which I've never really shown. I'm going to play with a very different play setup than I do a stream setup. The economy panel and everything. So this map, Tartarus, which I have shown off in many a stream, is a map that rewards the Spider Factory and rewards using the terrain over here and over here, which I am going to do quite quickly. Get this up, get that up. So five fleas, pretty typical start position. First flea go out, second flea go out, just stay zoomed out this entire time. Third flea go out over here, fourth flea go over here, and fifth flea go here. I need to just get this onto six. Yeah, normally what I'll do is I will put my factory on six, my workers. I have I was hotkeying for a while, I will no longer do that because there's... I've kind of found there's not much point. And I'll need to get more of this and this one. So I'm getting a radar up because radar is a typical thing you do right at the start. And... There we go, okay, found Shieldbot Factory. That is what Google Frog is going for, is the Shieldbot Factory, and I need to get some nice vision on that base. The decent idea what's being built, and what oops, I don't know, close enough. Get a bit closer. Can I I can't select the factory. Okay, well there are bandits coming up, that's the important thing. And Derpick has come in, scouted me out, and knows about my radar. And I'm not building enough, I'm not building enough energy. Shoot. Yeah. Economy panel. Really handy. I've gotta make use of that because it's actually really nice to have. Have I just lost a flea? I have just... I have lost a flea, but not all of my fleas. I still have some idea what's going on. And I need to know further what's going on. So yeah, I am Spider Factory, which as a result means fleas. It means fleas are very important. And also that dirt bag is going off to here. Which is really annoying. I'm going to have to take care of that pretty soon. Because I want this northwest side and also the southeast side. And in order for that to happen, I need to destroy that. And also need to defend it pretty well. Thus the lotuses. However, I'm also going to need to make sure that I get this up and running. Ah, I need more energy. Okay, well, I'm doing decent for energy. It's It flashes that when you have more metal income than energy income, because you need more metal income than energy income. That's just a thing for helping out new players, effectively. That's something that, for people who are just going to be watching, who are going to be playing and getting new to the game, that's the main reason for the economy panel to begin with. And because of that, one of the changes that I tried to do is, okay, we're going to have rogues coming in. Good to deal with that. So, rogue counter. Permits are a bit too slow. Fleas work okay. Get my own right. Not right, right. Using my own skirmish units. But anyway, yes, that's there because it just makes it easier for new players to find out how it works. Like, oh hey, I'm getting an alert because my energy is lower than my energy income is lower than my middle income. I better increase my energy income because of the way the game works and. Yes, like I said, I have rogues to deal with. I can't remember exactly how to deal with this with the cloaking my factory. And you are actually you go as part of group two. Face with some of the units. I am not building up my economy as quickly as I need to be. But I have another worker on the queue that's gonna be coming in, and I just realized this is actually taking a very long time. Okay. You do this, then these, and they give me another radar system. What? No, don't sweep. Get going. Okay. Then build another Lotus. Okay, and that's this point. Venom's at the bottom, and I am not in a good position right now because going spider by fighter is a really risky thing to do. It's one of those things that this is on one. Be on one. It's one of those things that you kind of do in order to get the advantage on terrain, but I didn't take that particularly quickly, so I'm in a bit of a tight spot right now. And there's probably a bunch of bandits. There's at least one bandit here. Okay, distract the bandit. And these guys need to move forward. The bandits are also not putting me in a really good position right now. Get over here. If you may notice from, from my previous FP VODs, I am no longer using auto groups. Not sure if that's really noticeable, but I stopped using auto groups a while ago. I found they were actually really damaging my play. I tended to just do these weird one army rushes, and I didn't actually do anything with multiple armies or multiple. Yeah, multiple armies, basically. That's the big problem. And so trying to solve that, I basically decided, okay, well, I'll have two for defense, one for offense, or in this case, just raider unit, because why not? 
Ah, Flea's not gonna work against Dirtbag. Flea loses to Dirtbag. Flea loses to everything! Remember that, folks! The Flea loses to everything, and it sees everything. It sees all and dies to all, and I'm just about to lose my red back. Crap, that's the last thing I wanted to do. I needed that red back. Ah, another Weaver. Okay, that's good. Not really the best timing for that, though. In fact, I need to get these guys out of here. Yeah, Google Frog, by the way, is one of the best players in the game. And one of the developers. Good mix. So this is probably not going to go very well. I'm kind of trying my best, but I... Yeah, I'm not that great. I'm not anywhere near Google Frog's level, but hey, watch me get bodied! Probably should be another Let's Die Horribly, which incidentally, I will be doing one of those on Halloween on Friday. Because I will have a special Let's Die Horribly stream on Friday, just like last Halloween. That will be a thing. So stay, so tune in for that when it comes up, which will be, like I said, on Halloween. I just realized I need more energy. Build, build. Protect all the metal extractors. Probably not the best strategy overall, but hey, it actually isn't too bad. Go oh, get, kill that thing. You have enough firepower to kill it. No, you don't have enough firepower to kill it. Oh shoot! And I need more. Where are my weavers? Okay, there's my Weaver, because I just realized I need another Caretaker. Yeah, this is... Uh, I should not have played on this map. I don't really know how to play this map without playing Spiders, because the terrain and all the benefits you get from going up this ramp here and getting the metal. But at the same time, I don't... I don't really know how to play Spider beyond that. I realize I'm going to need another... Okay, go over here. In fact, go over here. Just build my Weavers first. The Weaver's going behind that, and I'm losing a lot of crap. My ah. I am way out of practice. I am sorry. I know. This is a little bit shameful, but hey. This is... This is just how I play. I guess I'm kind of being honest about what I, how I play, so you can totally disregard my commentary next time I do commentary, which will be this Saturday, because it's another tournament. North American Tournament, Parzival. I mentioned this oh, on the last tournament, on Saturday. I mentioned what was happening, and that is... Well, that's what's happening. It's exactly that. Build me a caretaker. I have no choice. I need a caretaker. And build units. I, I'm surprised I haven't been using this before because the redbacks are 200, 28 seconds normally, and even 14 seconds with with this. So even with this, they're not great, but at least they're something. And this is still in a pretty bad spot. Yeah, Google Frog basically has the map. I think there's anything clever I could do right now. I think from here I might be able to do something clever with possibly a factory switch, but that seems a little bit excessive. And that probably won't even matter at this point. I think it's too- yeah, it's probably too late for that. Okay, best option I think is to consolidate, use some of these guys to go around, because I think Google Frog might have gotten a bit cocky. Oh, great, I was about to say. Google Frog might have a bit cocky, I might want to go for a gunship switch, or, you know... Watch as Google Frog goes for that instead, because apparently Google Frog had already gone for that. Which is exactly perfect. Okay, well, this is not a good sign. And I think... Oh, okay, where's this going? No, let's go over here. Come on, you gotta do something here. I don't see anything that would damage you. Oh, that's the guy. That's where it is. Kill the character. Oh, no, it's, it's too late. Best thing I can hope for is the Brawler will destroy these forces before... Oh, no, it won't. Well, will it? Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, this is game. Well, that was unfortunate. I will have to make a better start next time. Let's go for a better game this next time. Alright, game two. We're going to be on... Not sure what. Something that hopefully discourages particular... Or doesn't encourage a particular factory quite so much. Well, Avalanche is the one that the server popped up. That's an okay map. I'll I'll go with that. Avalanche is a perfectly fine map. Alright, so once again we begin. And yeah, don't expect me to actually win any of these games. Just just as a fair warning, Google Frog is Okay, basically let's put it this way. In terms of the Elo, I have a four percent chance to win. Just in terms of elo values alone. Which basically means I have no chance to win. Just for reference.
Okay, I'm gonna go for early instructor because I think if I go here and then I can reclaim some stuff, I'm gonna get my energy going. Get quick energy off of reclaim. It's something that it's a good idea to do in general. Just get that reclaim energy, and then from there, it's pretty simple. Actually, this is a good idea. Build a defender. Okay, do exactly that. But yeah, reclaim energy is a great thing to have because that just leaves you, just allows you not to build as much energy as you would normally need to build. Okay, send this up to Scout, which will probably be... He'll be around here somewhere. The start box. Go around the back. Usually it's easier to get somewhere there. And then you you go for a frontal assault. And then you go down here, because I want to make sure the Google Frog isn't doing anything silly on the bottom. Now, admittedly, I haven't checked the top, because that is... That's just, I just haven't checked it. Slight mistake on my part. But I will need to do that. Ah! That's, that's, they've gone for, ah, oh, shoot. And that's, of course, a puppy, which is going to be the glaive right off. So I better switch over to Zeus pretty quick. Zeus and Rocco, actually, Rocco first. Get a few Roccos up first, and then go to Zeus. And then you go south, because I didn't notice anything to the south. I don't think Google Frog's taking that at all. I mean, Google Frog probably is setting up to take that. And you, I want you on two... I want you to kill that thing like now. Today would be nice. I, I would really appreciate it, Rocco, if you would kill that thing today. I mean, really, it's your own life on the line, honestly. It's no skin off my nose. Really. Ah, that was okay, that was poorly micro on my part. That was on me. But the defenders are actually probably a pretty good actually no, it's lotuses are a better idea. When facing off against Pyros, Lotuses are your friend. Actually, I think of it. Build more of these guys, too. And then... No, no, actually, put that on low priority. It's actually a trick that I forgot to mention in the last game. Really cool trick. Put your factor in low priority, which means that everything else, your economy gets built up pretty quickly, but in between your economy being built up, your units get built up. So unless you need units fairly urgently, you end up getting units faster than if you were trying to manually start and stop the factory production. And I just realized I have no knowledge whatsoever of what's going on over to the south side. And that is rather concerning. I need to know. Actually, I also need to get this set up so that the Zeus's are not totally going to be underfunded. Ah. Kill that thing. I need to know where... Okay, just get at that pyro. Rockos aren't the best option, but they're not a terrible option. Until they go into the corner like this, that's a bad option. Shoot. Okay, Rockos aren't a particularly good option. Never mind. I was wrong. These stink as an option. Get them off the bill. Oh, they are off the bill queue. Okay, perfect. They're off the bill queue. That's exactly what I need. Warriors are not as terrible of an option. And more pyros. Ugh. It's just hard to get Zeus's up on this map so early, and then... I guess I could have gone for shield bots, but I, for some reason, did not expect jumps. I, that was a bad read on my part. Did not expect jump bots. I just tend to go for cloakies. It's it's kind of a it's kind of a factory counter. That that was a good move by Google Frog. Because I am one to go for cloaking bot factory as a general rule. Like, just as a rule, I will go for the cloaking bot factory. I'm most comfortable with cloaking bots. And I'm also in a really bad spot right now because I just realized more priorities taking over everything. Crap! Okay, that is going to be problematic. And yeah, I... I suppose the streaming time isn't... Sorry, old, responding to an older comment. Yeah, the streaming time isn't, I suppose, ideal. But it is... Well... Okay, not ideal necessarily for European viewers. Sorry, I know. I am in North America. I'm in Canada. I'm, I can't... I'm not going to be streaming in the middle of the night. With the exception of the monthly tournaments. Those I will do in the middle of the night because I'm like that. Okay. This is a bad time to do low priority. In fact, it's a good time to do high priority. I should have done that a while ago. That was... That's what I mean. When you need units desperately, go to high priority. Otherwise, go to low priority so you get that nice interleaving property. I don't want to build a Lotus. That'll get reclaimed on me. Build a Lotus up here. Like, building a Lotus right next to your opponent's worker seems clever until they start reclaiming it and you realize you're donating them metal. At which point it stops seeming clever at all. Let's see, you are here. Go over here, actually, and reclaim energy, but reclaim everything else. 
Yeah, reclaim all this stuff because, yeah, it's, it's saying build energy because of the reclaim, which is a good idea anyway because I will need more energy if I want to deal with reclaim. But right now, I just need the metal. I have enough energy in storage. I don't have to deal with it. Okay, I... Mm, from here, we have Lotus. We have Defender. South side is basically taken. North side is in a bad spot. Go away from the placeholder. You two stay away from each other as much as humanly possible. Actually, you go on one. You're in salt. I'm going to do it by type. You stay away from that placeholder black hole. Get rid of the radar. Move back. Move back and move forward. Ah, nice jump. That was a good jump with the Pyros. It's always a good thing you want to do with the Pyros is to jump back. And my Zeus will likely be place held in a moment. Yep. Targeted the Zeus instead. Gotta get out of there. And yes, I realize that that is slightly annoying. That is the... That is the sound. That is the sound things make when they are taken. Actually, you know, I should... I should check up here. Because this hasn't been taken. This would be a really good place to take. So it might be a waste of resources to do so. Okay, you go here. I think... I think I have enough glaze I can actually raid the bottom. Oh, no, 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 don't! Don't go to the same spot! The placeholder's gonna get the advantage. Be careful. Okay, the one thing about Zeus is that they they beat Pyros one-on-one, -on -one, but as the numbers of Pyros increase, the effect of the Zeus is decrease. Oh, okay, I... That's interesting to know. I haven't actually played CII in a while. I haven't played CII in years. Honestly, I never play against the AI. I... The player base isn't that bad. I don't really need to play against the AI, I find. Okay, you are on two and three down here. I will need to attack the south. Okay, and then go in. I realize it is dealing some damage. Target this first, and then target that, and... No, 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 three. Ah, shoot. Okay, well, anyway, I can still raid out from here, and I'm out of units. And you're not... You shouldn't be on two. You should be on... You shouldn't be on anything. Get, o get off of any control groups. Yeah, I realize this priority is going completely to units being constructed, because I'm in a bit of a desperate spot right now. And did I... I just lost something, didn't I? I don't see any use in the northeast, but I must have lost something there. Yeah, I think I think this is probably a lost cause. No famous last stand here, I'm afraid. And yes, I see that Timo Timo is noticing the big advantage to using the to using hitbox, which is the fact that there's really no concerns about how this all goes with stream delay, since there really isn't any. It's just, you just go. It's great. Alright, so let's get another match set up. I don't really want this map. Iceland... Uh, maybe? I don't know. Maybe let's try a different one. Wait, I like Vitra. Okay, so we're gonna do another one on Vitra. As I continue to embarrass myself for your entertainment. And Timo Timo is going to bed. Good night, Timo Timo.